All right, back again, Luke here. And today, what I want to show you is something that I got in the mail today, and that is this. This is an RGB to VGA converter, and this is a fantastic, cheap little unit if you're thinking about trying to convert your old arcade boards into uh, working with VGA monitors. Uh, this board here does the trick, and you can pick this board up at uh, www.arcadesparparts.com. And uh, it's a very small unit here. As you can see, I have the VGA cable hooked up to the monitor. And what this kit comes with, it comes with a, a few different parts. This is a, uh, another power uh, cable that you can plug in here. This thing can run off of 5 or 12 volts, or 5 to 12 volts. Well, right now, um, it also came with this cable here. And uh, I have all the cables and wires wired into my JAMA harness here. Basically, it's really simple as far as hooking it up. Um, here I have 5 volts connected, and then I have the ground wire connected. And then over here, I have the uh, red, green, blue, ground, and sink wire. And that's it. Once you get those hooked up, this thing, you know, it'll turn right on. And uh, when it comes up, uh, because this is manufactured in Hong Kong, uh, it comes up with uh, Chinese characters. So it's a little bit confusing uh, at first if you're not used to reading Chinese characters. But if you go all the way down to the bottom of the uh, the menu here, it has little uh, test buttons here, one for menu, and then up, down, and you can go left or right uh, with the screen size. It gives you a bunch of different options. It also gives you an English option. But uh, I figured we could pop this on here, and I'll show you this thing in action. Right now I have Marvel uh, superheroes versus Street Fighter and uh, even though I don't have my kick harness on it still works great so let's pop the old power supply on and you'll be able to see the Chinese characters will come up that's the company name I believe and right there it does have auto uh, adjust on here as well but it works fantastic and this is a great alternative, especially if you're thinking about using an old PC monitor and replace of, uh, to replace one of those big old uh, CRT monitors. But This is another arcade board that I don't believe I made a video of yet, but uh, once I get around to it, I'll put one up. <laughs> but let's uh, take a look at some of the functions here. So as you can see, this is the menu. So when I press this, menu button will come up. I have it all set in English. Uh, this one's exit. Um, if you go all the way down here, when you first get it, uh, it's all going to be in Chinese. So what you do is just go down here to number four and then press uh, the menu button press over and you can see the different languages it says English or Chinese so and then uh, you can change the picture um, different display settings brightness uh, you can change basically everything on here when you first get it uh, your board it'll probably be a little bit bright and if it's bright you can also adjust the sharpness and everything here but what you'll probably also have to do is you'll have to adjust uh, these pots down here at the bottom as you can see there's three pots right here these are your red green and blue so if it's too bright you can uh, take it and uh, use a flathead screwdriver and if I turn this a little bit should change the picture quality as you can see changing it blue and if it's too bright you can uh, adjust it through these settings as well but uh, I want to show you guys this because this is a fantastic uh, little unit here um, especially if you're trying to get into the arcade market and uh, you don't want to spend a lot of money or you don't have a lot of space for different uh, cabinets this is a really cheap alternative and uh, does the trick quite well the only things that you'll need um, you'll need some joysticks or some buttons which uh, is probably something that you could use an old PS2 or PS1 uh, joystick controller or even some of the Sega controllers and then uh, be able to um, wire those up and you'll need a PC power supply, a 52 pin or 56 pin uh, connector, edge connector here, and you'll need your RGB to VGA converter. 
and that will get you on the road to basically playing all of your favorite arcade boards. Uh, you can get online and start picking them up and be able to play them here. So. But yeah, I just want to show you guys uh, this little unit here. It's pretty wild. It's a pretty cool little setup. Um, and it works fantastic. I was a little bit hesitant on picking it up because I didn't know how the quality was going to be and how, uh, how rough it would be to wire up, but really simple. And as you can see for yourself, the quality is really nice. Comes out fantastic. And uh, yeah, it's a really cheap alternative to getting a huge arcade setup. So I'm going to be putting this in there and I'll be using that to um, power all of my different arcade boards and all my different arcade games. So once I get this thing completed here, I should be able to play just about anything. But just want to give you guys a little bit of a look at this and uh, let you know if you're interested in picking one of these things up. Remember, uh, go and check out www.arcadesparparts.com. And Arcade Spare Parts is uh, all together, it's not separated, no hyphens. Uh, yeah, and if you take a look there, you can find even different converters other than this one. Uh, some that can convert uh, PS3 to VGA, uh, Xbox 360, all different machines. This one here costs about $34 US. So, really decent price. I actually picked up three of them. <laughs> so, got a couple more projects in the making and uh, hopefully be able to use uh, those other two boards here to finish everything up. But, just wanted to give you a little bit of a look at this and show you how it works in action. And that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching.